Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Maths. We're looking at the specimen paper for the 2020 exam series for Paper 5, Probability and Statistics 1. This is Question 4. A petrol station finds that its daily sales in liters are normally distributed with mean 4,520 and standard deviation 560. Requirement A. Find on how many days of the year the daily sales can be expected to exceed 3,900 liters. To determine the number of days, I want to find the probability that sales exceed 3,900 liters and then apply that to a 365 day year. To find that probability, I'll work with the normal distribution and look up based on the Z score, the probability in the normal distribution tables. So we're working with variable X, which follows a normal distribution with a mean of 4,520 and a variance of 560 squared. The probability that X is greater than 3,900 equals 1 minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 3,900. And it's the less than inequality that will enable me to work with the normal distribution table. I want to find the z-score for the data that I'm given. My z-score is my metric of 3,900 minus the mean of 4,520 over the standard deviation of 560 which equals negative 1.107. I'm going to put this z calculation in brackets and then move back to the equation we're working on. We have 1 minus. Because our z score is negative, we have another 1 minus. And I want to look up the value of phi of 1 point one zero seven in the normal distribution table. Notice I'm using a positive one point one zero seven. The negative resulting from the Z calculation is reflected in that new one minus. Now we're going to do some simplification. One minus one cancels. The minus distributed to the minus phi of one point one zero seven gives us positive phi of 1.107. And when I look up this value in the normal distribution table, I find 0 0.8657. Before I apply this probability, I'm going to draw a diagram of the normal distribution to see if our calculation looks reasonable. We're quite a bit higher than 50%. So we should see quite a bit more than 50% of the area under the curve shaded. I'll draw in my mean, 4,520. Draw in my data point, which is to the left of 4,520, smaller than 4,520 of 3,900. And we want the probability of everything greater than 3,900. So when I shade everything greater than 3,900, I see that I do in fact have a probability greater than 50%. That's in line with my calculation of 0 0.8657. To complete our requirement, how many days of the year do we expect daily sales to exceed 3,900 liters? We take our probability, 0 0.8657. We multiply by 365, which calculates to 316 days. Let's continue on to requirement B. The daily sales at another petrol station are X liters, where X is normally distributed with mean M and standard deviation 560. It is given that the probability that X is greater than 8,000 equals 0 0.122. Requirement B, find the value of M. Again, we're working with a greater than scenario, so I'm going to change to a less than scenario. Probability that x is greater than 8,000 equals 1 minus the probability 
that x is less than or equal to 8,000. The probability that x is greater than 8,000 is given as 0 0.122, which equals 1 minus the probability that we're looking for, and that probability is going into the box. 0 0.122 equals 1 minus 0 0.878. I'm going to use the normal distribution table to find the z-score relating to the probability of 0 0.878. Note this is not a z-score. This is a probability. So my notation, phi of z equals 0 0.878. When I go to the normal distribution table to find 0 0.878 inside the table, not around the edges. Around the edges is when I have a z-score and I go inside to find the probability. Here I have the probability. I find that on the inside and then look at the related z-score based on what I see on the left and at the top. The z-score for the probability of 0 0.878 is 1.165. And I'm going to explain where that value is coming from. When I go to my table, looking inside the table for a probability of 0 0.878 or the closest smaller probability, I find 0 0.877. That is at 1.16. Now, 0 0.877 is short. I need to go to the right to find the additional 10 to get from 0 0.877 to 0 0.878. I see that that requires an add of 5, and so my result is 1.165. We'll now use this z-score in our z-score formula. z of 1.165 equals our metric of 8,000 minus m, which is our unknown, divided by the standard deviation of 560. And solving for m, we arrive at the value of 7,375 liters. Now let's continue on to requirement C. Find the probability that daily sales at this petrol station exceed 8,000 liters on fewer than two of six randomly chosen days. Notice that we're working with the station that was described in requirement B, not the station described in requirement A. In this case, we want to evaluate in a set number of trials, in this case six trials, six days, the possibility of a given number of successes. In this case, fewer than two successes, a success being defined as exceeding 8,000 liters. Here we're working with a binomial distribution. So x is represented by the binomial distribution. Our n is 6. Our probability is 0 0.122. And the probability that we're calculating is the probability that x is less than 2. This equates to the sum of the probability that x equals 0 and the probability that x equals 1. The probability formula for the binomial distribution is the probability of r is the binomial coefficient of n r times probability to the power of r times 1 minus probability to the power of n minus r. We have two r's, 0 and 1, so we'll complete this calculation two times and sum the results. So the binomial coefficient of 6, 0, the probability of 0 0.122 to the power of 0, times 1 minus the probability of 0 0.122 to the power of 6 minus 0, plus the binomial coefficient of 6, 1 times 0 0.122 to the power of 1 times 1 minus 0 0.122 to the power of 6 minus 1.
When I simplify, I arrive at the probability of 0 0.840. This completes the requirements for 9709 Specimen Paper 5, Question 4.